The Holy Family Hospital of Bethlehem, just 500 yards from the birthplace of Christ, delivers more than 3,000 babies every year. The Catholic Teaching Hospital provides health care for women and children and without regard to their religion, nationality, or ability to pay. We are delighted to welcome back Michelle Bow, president of the Holy Family Foundation. Thanks for being here. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. You just got back from Bethlehem where you were for, for a very long time. I just got back and had a, a beautiful week there, spent a little time in the desert and spent time with the various clinics and I'll have to say it was probably one of my best weeks at the hospital. Well, I want to hear a little bit more about the hospital, but you know who else is in Israel right now. Yeah. <laughs> President Trump is there. He met with Israeli Prime Minister uh, Netanyahu. He's going to meet with the Palestinian Authority uh, leader Mahmoud Abbas tomorrow. So based on your working in that region, uh, what do you hope that these world leaders will accomplish? I was hoping actually we could accomplish getting the president to visit the hospital, oh. but it's a very short <laughs> okay. visit. But I'm hoping that they'll look around and they will see the grassroots movements of peace. Peace through medicine, peace through music, um, peace among neighbors, and just to um, take heart from the peace that really is coming up in a groundswell that the um, national leaders need to address while the, um, the people in the neighborhoods are already bringing it to life. Let's take a look at the map of the region that we have put together. There has been conflict here for so long. There's Bethlehem right there where, where your hospital is. You have the Palestinian territories of the West Bank and Gaza Strip. But your Holy Family Hospital, as you're calling this beacon of peace, doesn't have any religious exceptions. Tell us about the story about the one Muslim family that donated a relic to the hospital. It, it was amazing. I walked into the um, NICU and there's normally a large crucifix on the opposite wall and I was surprised to see it wasn't there but in its place was a gorgeous icon of the Holy Family. And I looked and saw the crucifix was just moved a little bit and underneath this icon somebody taped a little piece of paper that said a gift from Zachariah. So I asked, who is Zachariah? I guess it's this little Zachariah, boy right here. That beautiful he's so baby. Cute. Yeah. And when, when I was there, but and he's I Muslim. Saw him, is that right? He's a beautiful Muslim baby. He was intubated, and he was a um, a very sick, premature baby, the first for his family. And when the mother came in, I could tell she was a Muslim because she was scarved and she had on an abaya. And I asked her, "Well, why did you buy this beautiful icon for us?" I said, "Why didn't you wait till he left? It would be a thank you gift." She said, "It's not a thank you gift." This gift is because the Holy Family looks over the doctors and the mothers and the babies and the nurses during the day. And at night, when the parents go home, we know the Holy Family is taking care of our babies in the NICU. Oh, how just beautiful is my heart. that? How it, it wonderful. It was the best. It just was so wonderful. And so it seems like it is a cauldron of peace in that, in that hospital. Well, thank you so much for coming in for all of the work you do on behalf of the Holy Family Foundation. Michelle Bow, president of the foundation. Thank you.